It's important that that moral uh, education is starts at a very early age. Imam Al Ghazali talks about this. One of the uh, important lessons that we learned from Imam Ali is he said uh, he said. Um, لَعِبُوا أَوْلَادِكُمْ لِسَبْعٍ You know, play with your children for seven years. And we know now that play is work. You know, uh, Piaget and others, I mean, I'm not a big fan of Piaget, but uh, Piaget did have some pretty profound insights about certain things. And one of them was that the play of children is work. That what they're doing is very important. One of the things that they found in the West is that many uh, serial killers, many sociopathic people were people that their parents did not allow them to play when they were children. Imam al-Ghazali says, if you do not allow, and he writes this in the Ihya, he says, if you do not allow children to play, you will kill their soul. And so it's very important that for those first seven years in particular, there is a lot of play time and activity. That's what they should be doing. There should be very little instruction or education at that time. Another important thing that a lot of people uh, don't understand, especially parents, but teachers also, is that children before seven have no concept of, of lying. A, a child can say whatever it wants because it's still in the imaginative world. So if a child breaks something and you say, who broke that? The child says, I don't know. And if it's a six-year-old or a five-year-old, that is the world that it's still in. It's in a world in which I don't know is a viable answer to that situation. At seven, this is called sinu tamiz, which is the age of uh, discrimination. It's still not fully formulated. But it's the beginning of this discrimination. That's why taklif only comes at puberty, it, it, not before that. Children are not held accountable before that for that very reason. So it's very important to, to recognize that in this early period, a lot of play activity. I mean, the Montessori idea of a lot of sensory stimulation is, is completely consistent with much of what we're learning now. I mean, there's a, incredible strides have been made in, in the last 20 years in, in the study of the brain in neurology, I mean, things, things that we're finding out about uh, the idea of a lot of, of positive sensory stimulation, there's a lot of negative sensory stimulation going on there as well. Television, uh, these, these uh, games that children are playing, uh, you're going to create uneducable children uh, if, if they indulge in these things. The, the, you know, putting them into these hyperactive states, they wonder where attention deficit disorder is. Most child uh, children television programming is speeded up because what they found in early studies back in the 50s, and you can find this in a book called The Evil Eye, they found that children, if you put them in front of television in real time, get bored very quickly and they just leave and they'll go do something else because they'd rather be stimulated in all this. So that's why Sesame Street's all bam, pow, zap. It's to keep them focused uh, on a hyperactive time. And so you've got all these children watching this stuff for five, six, seven years, and then they get to school, and the, the, the teacher's saying, and now we're going to do grammar. And the child's, you know, where's the A and the B and the C? And, you know, and so they, they put them on Ritalin. <laughs> you know, I mean, these things, you don't need to be a rocket scientist to work this stuff out. It just amazes me. It just amazes me. And they'll do tons of studies and then finally find this stuff out 20 years from now. Meanwhile, we have a society of people that can't function anymore. I mean, it's happening out there, <laughs> you know, if, if anybody hasn't noticed.